here today with KRMA for their fourth photo shoot with I'm Famous Photography and we thought we'd take you inside and show you around so you can see what they've been up to. And as you come inside to the reception area and here we have Andrew Banks and Hannah Taylor who run this facility and Andy how long have you been here now? Oh wow, we opened uh, this main centre in 2014, um, but we've been running now since 2007 in total. Awesome, and have you found that Covid has been a challenge to you through all this? Definitely, it's been a major challenge for a lot of people, but as martial arts instructors we need to improvise that and overcome, so we just stepped up and carried on. And you found that your numbers maintained through that because of your positive attitude with dealing with both the children and the parents. Yeah, definitely. It was very much a case of making sure they understood that we weren't afraid of it. We were just ready to rise to the challenge and help them through it. That was the key part to all of it. So they knew where they were at, where we were at, and what steps we had in place to make sure that we were going to see the other side of it. Okay, and since COVID, or rather during COVID, you've really revamped your unit here. It looks absolutely fantastic. Do you want to take us on just a short tour to show us all the different aspects? Sure, okay. Obviously we've got our new reception area which was already partly done but we still want to finish it off. So we've done a lot more to it. Obviously added a few more things including some new seating areas when parents can sit back in here. Um, we've got our main area now which obviously we now have a um, new matted area down so brand new mats to make sure. We thought when they were coming back through Covid they were going to give them something newer to experience and they're on the mats all the time so you want to make sure the mats were their focal point when they came in. We also had a ceiling that came halfway out here and whilst it was okay for upstairs it meant that there was limited space downstairs for any weapons training and having a post in the middle meant you lost a lot of space. So we had all of that taken back, the post removed, we've had a brand new upstairs built with a new intro training room, new office, new seating area that's um, almost finished. And we also made sure we added our students to the wall. So we actually made a new section for the wall. We wanted to highlight that our students are who we are and why we do what we do. So we thought the better way of doing it is to, to actually show them off to everyone when they're here. And you can see that they're in uh, different styles of gi and training deep. What, what styles do you cover here when you teach the children? We, um, we have a uh, very range now, luckily. Um, so we teach um, the class as a pre-martial arts for our three to five year olds, which is basic motor skill development so they can start learning some key things that can help in life not just in martial arts but obviously there's a bit of martial arts edge to it then we go on to what we call base martial arts which is more of a traditional karate baseline for our five to seven year olds and then from there we sort of branch out so we have our freestyle karate traditional karate we then have for adults we've got kickboxing mixed martial arts boxing so we, we have quite a bit of a remit which we're quite proud of yeah, and I can see from on the wall and around the corner here that you've also got a range of different weapons that you teach yeah. as well. So yeah. what, what does that encompass? Um, well, um, I've Growing up, what's been Ninja Turtle, I wish I could say it was more than that. Well, you're um, there with the colours, yeah, I, I'd yeah. love to say there was a lot more in depth, in depth thought to it, but I didn't. I, I grew up watching Ninja Turtles and they all used weapons and growing up wanted to be like that. So I, when I grew up, I wanted to learn those things. So I did and as I started um, teaching, I started teaching them to students and we go to teach we teach bow, traditional and freestyle, sword, um, single and double and chaku, sai, a screamer, um, kama, we teach everything. Um, as long as I know it, I'll happily teach it and the kids and adults love it. And what would you say is your most popular class that you teach? Most popular class is our senior dragons, that's our seven, um, seven year plus. Um, they're they're a, a, a brilliant age um, bracket, they're all full of energy, they're all eager to learn and we find they're the ones that have like, the, the biggest amount of energy when they're in the classes and they're, they're definitely our most popular class. And how many instructors do you have available to teach at the moment? At the moment we have our main instructor team are myself, Hannah, Sam and Carl. Um, they're the ones that will run the majority of classes but we have an instructor team of over 10 people so there's other people here that also teach. We also have um, Paul Bassing down who teaches our boxing sessions as well so he comes along on Saturday. So we have quite a big instructor team with a lot of assistants that are up and coming as well and they're still here to help us. Fantastic, and as I said, I mean the, the design work that you've put in to the dojo it just looks absolutely awesome, it really does. Amazing pictures, which of course we might have had a hand in. <laughs> you didn't um, need and to anybody out there who's maybe thinking, why would I want to send my child to martial arts? What's your core ethos that you would say to those parents? Do it. Game. it. It's um, everyone uh, thinks that karate and martial arts is kicking and punching, but it's so much more. It's confidence. It's listening skills. It's determination, perseverance. It's it's every possible skill you want your children to have to make sure they can get on well in life. 
as well as the kicking and punching as well. Uh, so it, it's a good way of setting the child up for success when they get older. That's great. Well, thank you very much for your time, and thank We're you. delighted to be back here with you. And if anybody wants to get in touch with Andy, you can be contacted on? Uh, you can call us on 01652 653560, or you can get in touch with my team um, via email, which is admin at krma.co.uk.